Hey there everyone, Mary Pittman here from Fitness Alliance International. Welcome back to Gimme 10 where we help you improve your life. Oh, sorry, transform your life 10 at a time. So we are going through a series of training principles and we've done a couple. So we've spoken a little bit about recovery and uh, today we're moving on to adaptation. So adaptation is basically a fancy single word way of saying you're getting used to it. So when you adapt to a new stimulus, when you get used to using, say, the weights you're using or doing the classes that you're doing, um, regardless of how intense they are or how heavy you're lifting, your body's going to obviously get stronger and improve and adapt to the stimulus. And um, basically, as you can see behind me, I've, I've doodled on the on the window, so. I'll get inspiration in the weirdest places and I'll have to just spit it out there and then. So this is the adaptation curve. Um, it may look like nothing really to you, but let me explain. So you'll be petering along pretty well. You just, you may plateau. Uh, you may just feel good about what you're doing and just in the groove. You'll peter along and then boom. Your body will get used to it and uh, you won't see any changes. That's where you plateau. But this is where having a personal trainer or having someone on hand to shake it up and mix it up a little bit is useful. So basically, we encourage people, say, to train in the gym two to three times a week on a regular basis um, so that they can adapt to the stimulus and they get used to the movements and they get used to increasing their weights and what have you. Now, on top of that, we encourage them to come and see a trainer every four to six weeks, depending obviously on how often they're actually attending the gym. So if they're training three times a week, you're going to see the trainer after 18 to 24 training sessions, roughly, um, on the same program. So if you're doing a different program each time you go, then it'll take a little bit longer to get used to the programming. So after those, um, three to four, four to six weeks of training and go see someone, add a class, change a class, get a new program written. And that's where this is going to happen. This is the dip. This is where people sort of get a little bit wary and can potentially go back into old habits and old grooves, back into the comfort zone and where they, where they were happy doing what they were doing. Now, this, so, so what you'll do is, what you'll notice is that you'll actually dip in the skill just slightly. You may need to be given a different exercise for your bicep. So you may be doing curls to start with, with dumbbells, and you'll be given a bar, which on its own is generally heavier, and the technique will change slightly, or you'll be given preacher curls. And you may not be able to lift as much, so you'll notice a dip in your ability level. But continuing to train uh, on that program or on that exercise and continuing to uh, develop the skill and working continually through that program, you'll actually increase the skill level and then you'll start seeing the gains. So that's what that is there. So making sure that your body doesn't adapt too quickly and to making to make sure that you can also continue to see gains throughout your program and during basically every single session that you're in the gym um, so that's adaptation making sure that you're shaking it up a little when you're sort of hitting your comfort zone and getting used to the stimulus so that's me I'm Mary Pittman from Fitness Alliance International this is Gimme 10 that was adaptation and I'll see you next time